In this video, I'm gonna show you how to duck audio in Premiere Pro, and if you're unfamiliar with what that is, you're gonna to wanna to hang out for this tutorial because this is gonna cut your editing workflow in half. Stick around. Tyler here from Video Editing with Tyler White, and if you wanna learn how to edit video like a pro, start out with subscribing and hitting the bell so you don't miss anything. Here on the timeline, I have one of my tutorials that I'm just gonna use as an example, but you can pretty much use this for anything, vlogs, short films, anything like that. In my tutorials, I usually have music playing in the background, but I like it to be subtle. I don't like it to be loud and overbearing. And in order to be able to do that, I need to tell Premiere Pro what is my actual dialogue and what's my actual music. So instead of manually going clip by clip and dropping the audio down, creating keyframes and stuff like that, I'm gonna show you how to do it quick and easy. So I'm first gonna go over to the audio tab, then I'll make this a little bit bigger. And I first wanna identify what my dialogue is. And the dialogue for me is gonna be pretty much everything that I cover inside of my tutorials. So I'm gonna start off by selecting only the dialogue and the dialogue being just me talking throughout the tutorial. Then I'm gonna click over here on this dialogue box. And what that just did is that just told Premiere Pro that this is my talking portion of my tutorial. Then what I'm gonna do is click on my music, then go over here and label it as music. Once that's done, Premiere Pro is now able to differentiate between your dialogue and your music. So once you've done that, make sure that your music is selected. Then you're gonna go over here where it says ducking and you're gonna check this box here. Then what I want you to do is where it says duck against, I want you to make sure that you highlight this box here. It should highlight blue and it says duck against dialogue clips. So basically you're telling Premiere to drop the volume of the music so that it doesn't overpower your dialogue. So once I start talking, the volume of the music should lower. But before that can happen, you need to make a couple of adjustments. So we have sensitivity, duck amount, and fades. So sensitivity is pretty much how responsive the effect will be. Duck amount is just gonna be how low you want the audio to drop, and you may need to make adjustments to this depending on how loud your music actually is. And fades is just gonna be how fast or how slow you want the music to fade in or fade out. So if you want the music to fade out quickly or you want it to fade out slowly, you can just adjust this here. Once you're happy with your settings, just go ahead and click generate keyframes. That should only take just a few seconds, then go back up to the editing tab, make this a little bit bigger. Then I'm gonna double click here to make my audio a little bit larger. And as you can see, it automatically generated keyframes. And notice that once the audio goes silent in the dialogue, the music actually jumps back up and it does that automatically on its own. If the music's still a little bit too loud for your liking, you can just click on this line here and just drag it down to whatever you like. You can also expand this out, make the fade a little bit longer. Continue to perfect your skills by checking out this video. Edit like a pro by subscribing and hitting the bell so you don't miss anything. I'll see you in the next video.